All right, everybody, it's me, Gregory freaking Manorino. <laughs> it is Thursday, February 20th, 2020. And when I tell you, and I know I say it a lot, we have to talk. We have to talk because today you witnessed, or you got to witness a miracle. Uh, actually, it was hashtag Woodrow in action. What am I talking about? At one point today, the Dow Jones Industrial Average was down 388 points. Well, all of a sudden, here comes the cavalry. The Dow Jones Industrial Average finished down fractionally 128 points lower. That is pretty impressive, uh, I, I must say. Um, and I'll tell you something else that's pretty impressive for those of you that are maybe missing it. The one month treasury is now yielding 1.59. The 10 year treasury is yielding 1.52. Now let me explain this to you. Nothing says booming economy like a, a yield curve inversion like that. And let me tell you something else in case you missed it. The Fed repo scam, you know, courtesy of the American people. The Fed pumped $68 billion into this market today. Oh, of course, that had something to do with the miraculous turnaround in this market. This is literally almost supernatural, okay? The market had every reason to sell off today. Uh, but of course it won't. Hashtag Woodrow, Federal Reserve. It's not real. And like I've been explaining to you, and I did a whole special report on it yesterday, you can expect the People's Bank of China and the Federal Reserve to, to go absolutely ballistic with regard to pumping cash into this market, courtesy of the people. Uh, and it's not going to stop. The Fed is going to continue rigging the debt market to the highest freaking order. And it goes right back to the special report video I did last night. Bet against this debt and become your own central bank like you have never done before. People, with regard to central banks issuing in their final solution, and you know what that is to become the lender and buyer of last resort, we haven't seen anything yet. Again, just going back to the yield curve. Nothing says booming economy like an inverted yield curve that continues to drop. The entire yield curve dropped today. This is a phenomenon that's been going on since way before the coronavirus. Okay, so this is the Fed. They're buying everything. This is their grand plan. This is the end game keep the debt bubble hyperinflated, pull up a stock market bubble with it, only to do what? Melt this down like I think people have no idea. Again, it happens time and time again, over and over. The Federal Reserve colluding with the White House, they are serial bubble blowers. All this is, is a wealth transfer. Every single time, that's what happens. From the middle class, to the upper end of society, the one percenters. But this time, there's nothing like it. Nothing like it, and it's in our face. Have you heard yet the president explain what the Fed is doing right now, why the yield curve is inverted, why the entire yield curve is flat and dropping? Have you heard him explain once how negative rates are gonna help the middle class have you heard him explain once how a weaker dollar is going to help the middle class? No, absolutely not. He can't tell you because it's part of the plan of the central banks to issue in their final solution and the complete wipeout of whatever's left of the middle class. People, if you are a member of the middle class, you are under attack and I mean hardcore. You're in a lot of trouble, and I've been explaining this for a very, very long time. Um, you have to understand that you need to take action, and you need to take that action right here and right now. Believe me, those of you out here with a 401k plan or, or some type of investment that only makes money when stocks go up, 
you're looking good right now. Everything is great. And I do believe stocks are going higher in the short run. But trust me on this, you're not smart enough to know when to pull those funds. It's very few of you, maybe if I had to go crazy, I'm going to say 15% at best are smart enough to pull their cash out of the long end of this market when it starts to melt down. Hopefully I can be some help. Uh, when it's time to short this market, I promise to tell you it is. Um, we're just not there yet. And today should be proof of that. A 388 point plunge in the Dow, miraculous turnaround, hashtag Woodrow, or plunge protection team, whatever, whatever you want to call it. And we finished down fractionally 128. What does that tell you? If you look at that, if you look at the entire yield curve, inverted and dropping, who's buying all the debt? I'm going to give you a clue. Look at the Federal Reserve's balance sheet. It's, it's ballooning. It is ballooning, courtesy of the American people. And the Fed involved in this repo scam, passing cash back and forth between uh, the Wall Street banks, giving the illusion of... Uh, a, it can't even say normal yield curve anymore because it's not normal. Uh, and the illusion of liquidity, we're drying up. We're going to hit another credit freeze and everything is going to stop. Transactions will stop. What this means is you go to your bank and you have XXXXX zeros uh, on, in your nice bank account. You can't get out a single dollar. Not a single dollar. There's going to be no cash there. That's the problem. We are running out of, of cash. Despite the fact that there are trillions upon trillions upon trillions upon trillions floating around in never, never land, you know, existing in nowhere, not on the elemental chart, they don't exist. There's 1.7 trillion actual printed bills existing on the planet Earth. That's it. The rest of it is in fantasy land, just like you are, if you believe that those dollars are real. They're not real. The entire environment we are in is fake. And all they're doing is pumping more debt into a dead system. The system is dead. It died. You have to understand this too. 2008 was the party over moment. What we have here is an economy that's been on life support pumping it. Obama, my goodness, this guy uh, pumped this market, QE1, QE2, Operation Twist, all the backdoor and under the table stuff going on. And then President Trump takes the reins doing the same thing, but you can't know what's going on. All he cares about is an inflated stock market. The economy is in free fall. Henceforth, why the yield curve is inverted. Henceforth, why the Fed is pumping this with everything they got. And we haven't seen anything yet. Nothing, people. Listen to me right here and right now if you don't take another damn thing away from this video. Bet against this debt and become your own central bank. That also means to me, all right? And you could flip out if you want to. I don't give a damn. I started buying Bitcoin again at 3,700. It's like 9,500, okay? So don't tell me I'm wrong, okay? I'm, I, if I were to sell it right now, which I am not going to because I think it's going higher, I own several of the major cryptos, all right? Uh, they're going higher, in my view, in this environment, okay? They're massively undervalued, along with precious metals, which have no bearing on reality with regard to their price action either, because JP Morgan keeps getting caught red-handed over and over and over, rigging the market. So what does that tell you? If we know for a fact that JP Morgan is rigging the metals market. You should be stuffing every corner of your house and safe set everywhere else with gold and especially silver. It's a no freaking brainer. Am I right? People look, um, we are literally in never, never land. And this never, never land is going to become beyond never land. Uh, and if you don't, have an understanding of what you are witnessing and what you are seeing and then taking action, you are done. You're absolutely done. We are very quickly moving to a two-tier society, okay? Whatever's left of the middle class, if they're stuck in Neverland, will quickly move to the lower rung, 
some people here um, who are smart enough to become their own central bank and bet against this debt are going to move to the upper side of society. But again, there's going to be pandemonium in the streets. I cannot stress this enough. Absolute pandemonium. You need to be prepared for a worst case scenario because that's where we're going and it's being done deliberately. Do you think that the Fed in here buying the entire yield curve involved in the repo scam, what China is doing right now, using every excuse to pump more debt into the system is by accident? And then you've got Fed officials coming out trying to lay the groundwork saying, oh, we're not, we're not going to cut rates. Nonsense. They know they're going to cut rates. The president is warning us negative rates are coming. Listen to the man. Listen to the man. I don't care what you might think of him. I really believe the president is trying to tell us negative rates are coming. A weaker dollar is coming, despite the fact that the dollar keeps going up here. It's going to keep doing that until it doesn't. Who gives a damn? Really, you know, people ask me all the time, Greg, when is it going to happen? When is the crash going to happen? Why do you care? All you should care about is getting yourself in the right spots, preparing for when this whole thing corrects to fair value. That's what's going to happen. It's not a crash. It's not a reset. It's a correction to fair value, like we have seen over and over and over again since when? I'm going to say it. Time immemorial. I really and sincerely hope that this video has made a dent in some of you that are confused. I know most of you that follow my work <laughs> are spot on and you know what you're seeing. You, you're not, you, you've been able to you know, come out into the light. You're no longer in the dark. You know, my hat goes off to you and if I had one, I would take it off right now. Um, but there are still too few people and this is the same story over and over again who can't see it coming because of the lies, because of the propaganda, which is going to get worse. It's getting worse right in your face, like I've been explaining to you since how long? All right, look, I could keep going on here. I think this is an awfully important video. Please share this video. Please get it out there. Maybe even watch it twice. twice. Let these concepts sink in. Open your eyes if you're not seeing it, people. It should be very, very clear to you that it's a setup. This entire thing is a setup. But we, we got it covered from every single angle. Honestly, I can't imagine another guy out here who makes it more simple. Understanding what the number one thing you should be doing is betting against this debt and becoming your own central bank, holding a hard asset. We are now in a massive risk on environment and stocks are going up because of the reasons I just outlined. It's a bubble. It's a hyper bubble. But again, the risk on is going to become risk off. And I mean risk off to the point where your head's going to spin around like the exorcist. Okay. And when that happens, assets like precious metals, assets like cryptocurrencies are going to balloon and skyrocket like you have no idea. So for now, we play the game. The game is simple. We acquire precious metals. We acquire especially silver. We acquire cryptocurrencies at very, very suppressed prices. If you are so inclined, if you are a lion out here, you trade the market you have right in your face. You take those profits, you allocate those profits into suppressed assets. Of course, you take a percentage of those profits and you donate them to a charity that you believe in. People, we are all responsible for each other. We must pay it forward. You understand? All right, I'm out of here. Awfully long video. Love you a lot. Please share it. Let me know what you think of these things and I will see you in the morning. Whoa.